<laughs> How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step instructional video showing you how to install these Fab Four trail doors on your third gen Toyota Tacoma. Right now we're in a regular garage to demonstrate how easy it is for you to install these doors. Let me show you what comes inside the box. Along with the doors, these are the components and hardware that are gonna come inside the box. You're also going to have an instructional manual to help you along the installation. Now let me show you what are gonna be the tools required for this install. You're going to need a body pry tool, your wrench, a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 3 eighths, half, 9 16 and 14 millimeter socket, along with an extender. This is not in the instructions, but I recommend you guys use this. Then you're gonna need a 1 8 Allen wrench. And for all the measurements that I just mentioned, I would also advise that you get yourself a ratcheting end wrench. It's gonna make installation a lot easier. Now let's move on to installing these doors. Before you get started, a personal tip is to lower all four windows so that it becomes a lot easier to remove your stock doors when it comes time to do that. Next, using a body pry tool, remove the kickboard next to the driver's seat. Next, we're going to remove this kick panel by removing this plastic screw back here. Mine's kind of loose. You might need a screwdriver for this. And then you just simply use your hands or your pry tool to just pull it apart. Now that the kick panel has been removed, we now have access to the wire harness. As you can see, there's three connectors that we're gonna have to remove, one, two, and three, in order for this wire harness to come out on the other side. With the cover removed, you will have access to the door wiring harness. Unplug all the plugs coming from the door wiring harness. So as you guys can see, we disconnected the wire harness. As I move it, you can see that this is basically the wire harness on the other side. What we need to do now is unplug this rubber cover that prevents water from going inside the cab. So what I'm gonna do right now is just put my finger in there. You can also use your pry tool and we're gonna pry it open. Now we're just gonna leave it hanging here for now. Now using your wrench, your extender and a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the bolt in the door limiter. By using a 12 millimeter socket, or as I had recommended, a 12 millimeter ratcheting end wrench, which is gonna make your life a lot easier, we're going to remove four bolts that are holding this door in place. So up here there's one hinge, and down here there's another one. Two bolts up here, two bolts down here. You're going to want to start with the lower hinge. Now that the two bolts on the lower hinge have been removed, it's time to move to the top hinge. But before we remove them, you are going to need a friend for assistance. You're gonna to need to hold the door in place. With us today is Ken. Do you mind holding the door for me? Let's do it, man. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Now make sure your friend's really holding on because after we remove this bolt, the door will come off. With only one bolt left, this is where your friend really comes in handy. All right, you have it? We got it. As this bolt comes off, your friend is holding the door and this is where you're gonna wanna pull the wire harnesses that we had already disconnected. Then you're gonna wanna make sure you put the door down in a place where it won't get scratched. We just showed you how to remove the front door. Now it's time to show you how to remove the back door. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the weather strip. You're only gonna wanna remove it up until the middle, about this high right here. The reason why we did this 
is so that it could be easier to remove the panel from the B pillar. The reason why we removed the B pillar panel is so that we can have access to the back door's wire harness that's in here. So as you guys can see, it goes through here. Right now, we need to remove this blue cover. Now we're going to remove the rubber wire harness protector in order to reach the connector. Now that the wire harness has been disconnected, it's time to reassemble the B pillar panel. We're going to put our blue plastic cover back on. And we're going to reinstall the weather strip by simply pushing it into place. Using your 10 millimeter socket and wrench, we're now going to remove the bolt in your door limiter. Using a 12 millimeter ratcheting end wrench or 12 millimeter socket, we're now going to remove the four bolts that are attached to the two hinges. One, two, three, and four. For the first one, all you're gonna wanna do is just leave it loose. This is the one that you're gonna have to wait on your friend to remove it last. Now we're going to move to the lower hinge Now with the help of a friend, we're going to remove the last bolt. The doors have been removed. Now it's time for us to install the kickboard and kick panel the same way they came out. From there, all we have to do is prep the doors and we're good to go. Using the supplied hardware, we're going to install the door latch. It's gonna go in right in here. By using a 3 8 socket and 1 8 Allen wrench. When installing the door latch, you need to make sure that this nipple is facing down. So this is the top of the door, this is the bottom of the door, nipples facing down, and the door latch goes in like this. Now we need to apply the hardware. Using a half inch socket wrench and the supplied hardware, we're going to install the logo plate. So if you want Fab Four's logo to be a different color, you would want to powder coat this whatever color you would want that to be. I want mine to be black, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the logo plate. Now it's time to install the rubber bump stop in the front door using two 516 nuts, two washers, and make sure to loosely install for later adjustment on the truck. Now it's time to install the limiting straps by using a flathead screwdriver. You kind of have to wiggle them around. After you're done installing the door latch, your limiting strap, and your logo plate, you're going to want to repeat the same process on all four doors. With assistance, we're now going to hold up the door as close as possible to the hinges and we're going to install it by using a 9 16th socket and wrench. You're going to get the supplied 3 8 bolt 
two washers, a lock washer and nut to do this. Now it's time to tighten the hardware. Now it's time to install the limiting strap bracket. Using a 10 millimeter socket and the OEM bolt, we're going to screw in the limiting strap bracket For the back, it's going to be the same process. You're going to use a 9 16th socket and wrench, and you're going to get the supplied hardware, the 3 8 bolt, two washers, one lock washer, and nut. Now that we have this bolt and nut installed, it's a lot easier to install the rest of the hardware. Now that we have installed all the hardware, it's time to tighten all the bolts. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to tighten the limiting strap using the OEM bolt. The driver doors have been installed and they look incredible. We're going to repeat this same process on the other side. The only difference is the wire harness connectors down here. We had to remove three connectors on the other side. We're only going to have to remove two connectors. Let's see how long it takes us. All right, all four doors have been installed. It roughly took us 30 minutes to install the other side, meaning all four doors should take you around an hour to install. You definitely get the hang of it once you install it the first time. First time's gonna take you a little bit longer. Now it's time for us to go test out these doors. Check out that cup holder. So that about wraps it up for this install video. As you guys know, Toyota did not design these doors to pop on and off. And it's so awesome that Fab Force developed these doors for us Tacoma owners so that we can now rock tube doors, better than tube doors. These things look insane. So roughly it took me around one hour to install these doors based on how much I time myself on one side. But on the driver's side, it took us an entire day. We wanted to make sure that we got all the right shots so that this installation video could be a nice process to follow. As far as driving inside the truck while having the trails, trail doors on, the way that I can describe it is for all those motorcycle owners out there, mountain bikers, that feeling that you get when you're going down the mountain or when you're riding your Harley, your street bike, that feeling of freedom I was able to feel inside my cab it was awesome if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like it down below if you haven't subscribed make sure to do so 
If you are subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon so that YouTube can notify you when we release a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.